What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today we are talking about some of my favorite new knives to come into the channel. We're going to kick it off with the Migron Moyero, the crossbar lock edition, the one that we have all been waiting on. Still got the nice 14C28N drop point blade, but we have some updated finishes now. We have gray PVD, and we also have one, uh, a couple versions that have a satin finish. We still have the excellent done teardrop cutout, 50-50 choil, which will allow you to choke up right behind that edge for some nice controlled cuts. Also, because of that, you'll be able to choke up and get that nice index finger grip as well for detailed and precise cuts. Crossbar lock has done well, guys, uh, as well as Kaiser. Maybe not quite on that level, but it is uh, very well done uh, from Migron. Very impressive. I love that they keep the show side clean. They just have the little emblem there on the pivot blue micarta they also have green and black they also have satin finished versions as well we have a gray pvd coated milled titanium pocket clip matching the blade satin hardware with a black g10 backspacer at white mountain knives right now if you use code gball10 you can get these for right around 55 bucks guys and for everything you're getting here that is an insane deal I will link all these knives down below. Next up, we have the Real Steel Pathfinder, guys. This is probably the knife out of all these that I've had in my hand, in my pocket the most. Pathfinder has this beautiful drop point blade that's pokey as all hell. Slicey as well. 14C28N for the blade steel. You have a double row of jimping. So if you're in the standard grip, you can get a whole row for your thumb. And if you are in the index style of grip, you have a whole row for your pointer finger. Very well done. Brilliantly done on Real Steel's part. Dull thumb studs for the deployment options. You have semi-contour G10 handles here. Very well finished. We also get, guys, a full-length backspacer, which I can't tell you how much of a game changer that is on the comfort, the ergos of the knife. That changes the game when you get into something that is very dense or rigid or rugged and that knife is tilting back in your hand as you're cutting. The comfort that that backspacer adds in situations like that, you know, when you're actually using the knife, uh, it's just a game changer. You also have a deep, deep carry steel rollover clip that's recessed behind the liners. It will be lefty carry as well. If you're looking for a af more affordable uh, beast of a EDC and work knife, the Pathfinder, guys, is a fantastic choice. I slept on real steel for a long time, and after getting this, I have my eye on real steel. They are just doing a fantastic job. Now, we do got one more Migron to talk about, but this is definitely worthy of being on this list as well. This is the more affordable version of the Kirex. Now, I do have the premium Kirex 2. Uh, and I've checked out the original, I believe. So I've had all of them in. And I can say, guys, for at about a quarter of the cost, about 55 bucks again for this, uh, close to a quarter, this is almost or just as good as the premium versions, guys. Uh, you're getting M390 on those. You're getting 14C on these at 55 bucks. I mean, 14C is a very formidable steel one of the best steels if you're talking about a steel that you want that you can use and cut and run into things with and you don't have to worry about chipping it's a very tough steel uh, we have that satin finish i was talking about and this is a modified sheep's foot blade you have a cutout 
and rear flipper tab for deployment. You have some fine usable jimping up there. And as far as this choil area goes, you can get a decent choke up in there without having to worry about being on the edge. As far as a full choke up, no. You don't want to be up there with the full meat of your finger. Uh, but a casual uh, finger choil definitely would work for that. The ergos are good on this guy. You also get a Gear G10 backspacer, the black on black micarta and milled tie clip there. And then they also offer a couple other of finishes, whether it's a gray PVD, I believe, or a black PVD. And then they have a couple different micartas. And then you do have good access to that liner with the chamfer on that guy. Excellent job. Same deals before. White Mountain Knives, G-Ball 10, 10% off. Uh, great deal on these new 2024 Megarons. On this list, we have a couple of my favorite button locks in a long, long time. And this is one of them. This is the Kaiser KUH or the Kaiser K. We have a 154 CM drop point blade. It's an elegant, beautiful looking drop point blade. I just, I love that. It's almost spear pointy. Uh, I just love it. It's, I don't know. It does something to me. I love it. It, it. It's going to be a very useful blade shape. We have a nice cut off. Jeez. We have a nice choil here that's cut out. Very well done from Kaiser. This is going to be pokey. This is going to be slicey. You have a little bit of belly if you need to do any like type of roll cut. Ah, and the button and spring on this guy is excellent, guys. You can wind up on this thing. That's how stout them springs are. This ain't just going to loosey-goosey fall, uh, fall out or go up. Uh, they got... They're getting these dialed in. And you have dull thumb studs and a front and rear flipper to actuate this guy. And they all work very well with the springs in this thing. You have layered micarta, which is kind of a new uh, micarta for me from Kaiser. It's very well done. Grippy, but still smooth. And then you have their deep carry steel rollover clip on this guy with matching liners and hardware. This button lock, guys, has really been impressive. It's one I kind of looked past, and then when I got it in hand, it really opened my eyes to it. And we have another button lock that is really impressive, guys. The Vostid Knives Corgi. This bad boy is coming in 14C28N as well. Nice drop point blade again. PVD coated with a little bit of a black wash. Now this will be a very minimal rear and front flipper. And again, I believe Kaiser's build and the spring is not quite as stout as the KUH, but it's close. And because of how this is designed with the flippers being so far above the pivot, you get a ton of leverage on those flippers and it just works very, very well. Button placement is nice there in the center. Everything is in line. You have a filler tab on the show side, which means that clip will be left-hand friendly, as it should be. You have cross-cut black micarta here. Very well done from Vosti. This is going to make a very, very nice gentleman-style EDC knife. Next up, we have the Kubi Bluff. We have a nice mix of locks and different styles in this one. Just noticing that we have the Kubi Bluff here, 14C28N. We do have a uh, nice series of 14C though going on. It's a great steal, guys. Drop point blade, fuller into the cutout. Drop point blade. This we have that kind of high polish sandblast on this guy. Wish they would have done it in a gray PVD like we've seen previously or a stone wash or a satin, but uh, you know, it still looks fine. We have the satin finished hardware there and we have Kubi's new adjustable crossbar lock. We also have some nice 
textured G10 handles. And we have Kubi's redone deep carry pocket clip. And this guy will be reversible for our left hand brothers out there. Some circular internal milling on this guy for weight relief. It is nice and lightweight. Uh, Bridgeport collaboration with Kubi. And Bridgeport, Kubi, they put another banger out. And let's talk about another knife that was severely or, or seriously impressive when I pulled it out of the box. I have the version one. Uh, the unboxing is up already or should be. But this thing blows the V1 just out of the water, into the woods, and then back up the mountain. Uh, this thing is so good, so well refined. 14C on the blade steel, a beautiful sheep's foot style of blade. You have a usable fuller on both sides of the blade and very well tuned again on this button lock, guys. And all three of them had solid locks. They all have good spring tension. Uh, this is right behind the cut, if not even with the cut from Kaiser as far as how well uh, that spring strength is done and how solid that lockup is. The flipper, the fuller, all, this whole knife is so well finished and done. We have gray aluminum that have kind of a tumble finish to them with all black hardware and liners. This thing is beautiful as hell, guys. Uh, we do have, no, no, we don't have any milling in there, do we? No, we have no milling in there because we don't need any. The aluminum is light as hell. Oh, yeah, there's no liners. We have a deep carry pocket clip, which I will be replacing with a titanium milled clip because this knife is worth it and is going to be sticking around. The new Chevalier V2 is sick. And you're crazy if you didn't think I was going to bring these bad boys out. But we have the new off-grid Stinger EDC Spear Point and the Stinger XL Spear Point. So the EDC is going to have a 3-inch blade and the XL is going to be a strong nine and a quarter inches overall so quite the difference in size but both going to be very uh well rounded whichever you choose and you're going to be getting 154 cm on both g10 on both with a reversible clip and filler tab both flipper only but very well done flippers guys these things are extremely well tuned to the point where you don't have that loosey goosey action on these but it's a nice tight smooth action that eventually breaks in to be just buttery buttery smooth these are right out of the box no oil barely any break in and for that heavy of a blade that big of a blade to kind of have that uh stiffness that tension to it it, you can tell it's going to break in and just be very, very nice. You have some nice, fine, usable jimping there. And then both these versions are going to come in the same other colorway. So we have the Coyote and Gray stonewash finish in the EDC size. And then we also have the All Murdered Out XL. This thing is, they are just so well done, guys. Such beautiful knives and very well executed from off-grid. Uh, this is a, a company that I truly slept on for the last couple of years. And I will not be doing that anymore. As a matter of fact, I will be shoot, uh, shouting off-grid knives name off the rooftops for the foreseeable future. If you're wanting a useful utilitarian style of knife. Uh, they have something for everyone, different blade shapes, different sizes, uh, fixed blades. They have assisted. They have something for everyone if you're looking for a utilitarian, use it type of folding knife. 
that's what they make. They make function. They don't make, uh, you know, f fidgety toys. They make utilitarian, functional knives over there, and they do a fantastic job. I have to say, guys, already this year, now I know some of these, some of these weren't 2024 models. Some are 2023, and that's okay. But we have a week or two here that has happened that has just brought in some of the some of the best knives I've had in in a while. All very tough and well finished. Just uh, it's been a great couple of weeks uh, getting a bunch of different knives in, and we have something that has seriously been surprising. Uh, this is the Schrade Radok, R-A-D-O-K. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this thing, guys, it's USA made. I'm not sure of the price yet, but you're getting an S35VN satin finished modified sheep's foot blade, and it is beautiful. Camera is not doing it any justice right now, but it is very well done it comes down nice and thin look at that bad boy you also have some very well executed micarta or carbon fiber for your handle material it's getting late you have shreds crossbar lock which guys it's good it's really good i mean it isn't like kaiser's adjustable lock uh but it's good Night. It's not crazy strong, but it's strong enough that it feels like a Hogue or a Benchmade. Uh, that's exactly what it feels like. And this is not a small boy. This is a big boy, full size, dull thumb studs for the deployment. Just a, a very well executed knife from Schrade. You do not get the reversible clip on this guy. I would say that's probably... The only knock on this knife that I have is that we have the left and right hand friendly lock, but we're missing out on the lefty carry, which is a bummer for the lefties uh, because I'm sure a lot of lefties would buy this knife if they could carry it lefty. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this entire list. I love hearing from you guys. We had a bunch of bangers on this one. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.